everyone, so today I'm flying to Europe um, with Virgin to Sydney and then Quadra to Doha and also Quadra from Doha to Belgrade. Might really bother filming much of the Brisbane to Sydney flight because yeah, I've done that before, nothing much happens there. So we are here, car is parked at 440. I don't know what this is. Um, Shit, better make sure I looked it. Excellent. This entire video I will film on Sony Action Cam just to see how it performs and that includes the microphone. Now just for the walk to the terminal. I was thinking they permanently disabled that audio that tells you to control your luggage on the escalator, but they haven't. There it is. So I've got to the International Airport. This is my plane here. And that's the current time. I have to turn this off here, they don't allow our video past about here. What I've learned about this camera is even when I think there's enough light, it doesn't really pick up the detail. I mean, this menu is unreadable. Um, but more on the food, I'll talk about the food at the end of the video. Let's talk about in-flight entertainment. It is great. That's one word I have for it. It feels new, refined. It's actually like having an Android tablet in front of you. Everything's easy to browse. It works. It pretty much just works. They also have a new maps application for if you want to see where the aircraft is or details of the aircraft. It, the application itself is very good compared to what was previously on the planes before. Uh, the touch input responds. Sometimes it's a bit laggy during this pinch to zoom stuff you do, but overall it works pretty well. I have a suspicion all these screens are what's known as dumb terminals and it basically feeds everything off the server each time you click which could explain why there's sometimes a lag when you click on something or it doesn't come up um, but overall it's pretty good you can pretty much charge your laptop mobile whatever you want in this plane there's like a full-on plug there there's also a USB port at the bottom of the screen which I think is very good. Windows on this plane are big on the inside, but small when you actually look outside. I think they were going to create that impression that you have a big window, but it looks like it's a tiny tad bigger window on the actual plane. It's just your little perspex glass inside is big. The camera on the outside of the plane, while it's all welded and nice that it's there, I feel like they could have used a better camera with what's available today. Landing in this plane, man, I could not tell when it touched the ground. Like, it's smooth, it's the only, the only noise you could basically hear was the spin-up of the engines as they were slowing down the aircraft. It's like the Rolls-Royce of aircraft, in my opinion. Doha Airport, which is pretty much empty. Like wherever you walk, there's no crowds. And this is my next flight.
really wish every airport was like this all the time. It would make travelling a lot easier. To keep your seatbelt loosely fastened at all times during the flight. If you're using a blanket, we kindly ask that you fasten your seatbelt over your blanket so it is visible. Our in-flight meal service will come in shortly with breakfast. got the car, now you're driving to Bosnia. Um, one thing I'm really disappointed with this car, like it's got the screen, all this stuff is, you know, you can customise it to however you want. But one thing that this car doesn't have, that it didn't even cross my mind that here in Europe it would be an optional accessory, because in Australia it's just, it's just a given that any cheap car will have it, is cruise control. So all this car has is what I've set 120 down here, which is the speed limit here. That's all it has, so I can only set the, the maximum speed limit. Um, I doesn't have cruise control. That's a bit disappointing. So I've just finished uh, editing this video. Obviously I'm back in Australia, so I filmed this about uh, six weeks ago. Um, let's talk about food. Um, well, I didn't take a photo of it, I did some Googling and this is what the dinner looked like. Um, this salad in particular is very bad tasting. Um, that wasn't too bad, that's chicken with rice and something. Dessert was okay, but just the combination of that and the salad, I was really disappointed. This is what the breakfast looked like. The bread, butter, jam, all, all this other dude they had was really good. This egg thing just tasted like nothing. Um, I, I don't know why they still use this powdered egg. I know it's cheaper and all that, blah, blah, but seriously, um, have some decent food on the plane. With the food gripes out of the way, what I really liked on the plane was there was plenty of room. I mean, normally, so I suppose I should say, all the stuff I'm comparing to on this aircraft is I compare it to Etihad, who I normally fly with. Quota was just cheaper now, and I thought, no, oh, well, let's give them a go. How bad can it be? And overall, it wasn't bad. It was just these minor food complaints. Some people will find this food fine. It just wasn't my cup of tea. The rest of the aircraft was really good. Uh, but seriously, the A380 is the quietest plane I've ever been on. I, I seriously would think it's the equivalent of a Mercedes Maybach in, in the car world or a Rolls Royce. It was just just really quiet. It surprised me and I think I read a while ago that they were stopping production of them because uh, apparently airliners were finding it hard to fill the planes which is a real shame. So that's pretty much it for me. Um, thanks for watching.